want to show you how to make your calendar, your Google Calendar public so you can share it on a website and let anyone be able to see like your public performances. What you'll need to do is make sure that you're logged into whatever uh, account it is that you're using. Right here I'm going to use my Bohemian Insurgents Band account. You can see the little icon up here for that. You'll need to go to calendar.google.com which is where I am right now. So just calendar.google.com and once you're here on this page then come over to my calendars and you'll see whichever is the name of the account that's what by default that's what the calendar is going to be called in this case it's bohemian insurgents birthdays reminders tasks those things just seem to kind of pop up by default or are populated by default by google so i'm going to click on this options for bohemian insurgents and then click on settings and sharing and obviously you want to put in you know your calendar settings like you, the names fine but people this is going to be public so whatever's here you know don't make anything too odd um, live performance dates for Bohemian Insurgents you could put you know live performance dates or whatever details you want to put in there it'll also be searchable by Google so keep that in mind as well make sure your time zone and everything is correct owners should be you obviously and the only thing you need to do which is not set by default is just check this box so make available to public and then anyone will be able to see all events and details. You don't want to see only free or busy. You want people to be able to see all of your event details so they'll be able to look at the address and be able to figure out you know, where to find you. Then you get a shareable link right here. This is the link that you would need to use to embed it into a website or give to your web developer to take care of that for you. And that's it. There's not even any place to click save or whatever this is all you have to do so go back in this upper arrow press back and what I'm gonna do to give you an idea of what I consider a best practice is I'm gonna put in a date so we have we're playing October 25th at Tempe Center for the Arts and we're playing 630 so let me show you what I did there I just found the date right I'm looking up here October 25th I'm looking at the date here, 6.30. I'm going to just start double clicking in there and by default it puts me at 6.30 to 7.30. We're playing 6.30 to 8. And I'll put Bohemian Insurgents live at Tempe Center for the Arts. Now I want to make sure that I put in the location and the correct address. And sometimes things will come right up for you. Uh, Tempe Center for the Arts. See, this came up already. So I can just click right there. And then anybody that finds this on our webpage will be able to get the address and uh, even potentially even uh, copy that to their own calendar. So you click Save. And now that's here on the, on the calendar and it'll be visible on the front end.